This is a swift fox. It's a small species of endangered fox growing to around 2.35 kilograms and 80 centimeters long. You can differentiate the swift fox from other foxes, such as the kit and red fox, by its black spots on either side of its nose and on the end of its tail. The swift fox's fur is gray on the top of its body and orange on its sides. Its fur grows long and thick during the winter and becomes coarse and more reddish gray in the summer. Swift foxes live in burrows created by badgers that have been abandoned, which can be found in the grasslands of Alberta and Saskatchewan. Swift foxes have a random population distribution. They are social animals, so they live amongst others, but spend their lives with one mate. They have a low population density, since there is a small population in a large area of the flat grasslands in the plains of western Canada. Swift foxes were taken from the U.S. and in reintroduced to Canada by a small group of foxes. This means that the entire swift fox population has an extremely similar genetic code. There was an abundant amount of swift foxes in the late 1800s and early 1900s, but around the mid-30s, the population started to decline dramatically. Swift foxes were extinct in Canada by 1978. The swift fox's main predators are the coyote and the golden eagle. The swift fox is extremely fast, but it is still a small animal and is preyed on by predators. The coyote is not only its predator, but is also a competitor. They compete for smaller animals in the area. Swift foxes are omnivores, meaning they compete with coyotes for some food, but can survive off of plants as well. Humans play a pivotal role in the population of the swift fox. Humans were one of the main causes of the decline in swift fox populations in the 1930s. The agricultural development decreased a large portion of the swift fox's living space with increased human interaction and encouraged the decline of the population. Poisoning campaigns in the 1900s were used to decrease the coyote population, but these campaigns not only affected the coyotes, but the fox population as well. Even though humans were a major factor in the decrease in population, they are also the reason for its reintroduction to Canada. There have been many organizations helping to keep the population growing. If the swift fox is to continue to grow, there should be a portion of grasslands in the prairies that should be protected by the government. If human development was such a major factor in the extinction of the swift fox population, we must make sure to protect their habitat from further destruction.